welcome back. Today in this video, we're gonna install this Milcom Unertal style scope on this rolling block with a unique side lever. The first thing we're gonna do is remove the metal from the furniture so we can get it set up in our drill and tap fixture. Okay, now we're going to take this and head on over to our mill. So we've got this set up in our Forester drill and tap fixture. Um, octagon barrels are nice because the tapers match. The tapers and that lines up the barrel to the top dead center and we also have a flat here that lines up so we know everything's square now I put the base underneath because I'll use the base to line up the holes and I'll show you how we do that in a second I had a piece of tape on here to mark the front of where I want that base to sit and we'll use this block and this center that sits in here to align the jig up. Now that we're set up in our jig, we're lined on our first hole. I've double checked to make sure that the spacing here for our Forester drill and tap jig matches the inertial rear basing, rear bases that I have. And we're going to select the correct insert for 648 drill and tap, which the uh, drill is number 31, which matches to the drill size we need, the number drill size, and the tap will be a 27. I always like to double and triple check these hole spacings because once you put a hole in, you can't take them back out. These guides will ensure that the drill bit lines up with the center. Um, I still like to make sure that they don't touch the guide when we line up our mill machine. As you can see, they're quite tight. So if you can run it down in and back out without it picking this up, without it running, then you know you, you're well aligned. The liquid. I'm gonna drop the quill and zero out my digital readout here. I like to do these one at a time, drill it, then tap it. Um, just feel like it keeps everything aligned nicely. I'm going to use a bottoming tap that's actually been ground even further. And I chuck them up. I 
just go very gently. I just turn the quill. Roll the temperature. How much? Plug it to my router. I like to drill anything cheap. It's a little bit down to 100,000. That will depend on the caliber barrel and the thickness of the barrel. So you need any resistance. Let's All right, hole number one. We'll go back to our drill spacer. I'm gonna double check this one more time. Cause I don't like putting them in the wrong spot. Same spacer. So we got number 31. Hand check. good feeling when they line up. Now, for the second block, we're going to have to set back up on a double check your instructions, but on these Malcolms and the Nurdles, if you want your adjustments to be a quarter MOA, you need to set these bases up center to center, seven and a quarter inches apart. So we're going to go ahead and, and do that now. We'll reset this up, do that now, and get ready to drill our next two holes. So we went ahead and marked the center line here. I'm just going to do a crude double check, center to center. Like I said, that's pretty crude. But, uh seven and a quarter inches never hurts even if it's a crude double check just to double check those things now we're gonna move our quill the distance between the center of the block and the center of this hole which should be 280 thousands about 560 hole centers divide that by two 280 so we're gonna go ahead and now i'm gonna lock the bed down so we keep that linear dimension and we need to install our jig. Now this jig, the holes, do not line up on the small side. Do not make the mistake of using these for the small block because you'll be sad. first hole.
Now, because this particular one, the hole spacing doesn't line up, I'm going to slide this out of the way, going to install my block, and I'm going to use the block for the guide for the second hole so we know it's in the right spot. So we're going to use our center alignment guide. That sits right in the top of the site. Then we lock it in and we know we're in the right spot. All right, let's take it out of the mill machine, get it back over to the bench and clean up those holes. Our side lever rolling block is back together and our mounts are on there. Now we're going to mount scope. Thank you so much for watching this video and all the support I've had over this last month. If you've enjoyed this, please hit the subscribe button and uh, hope to see you on the next video.